Hello everyone, welcome to the Unistella channel. Thanks for being here. In this video tutorial, we'll start a new series in which we'll talk about one of the greatest EV scope features, making science. After learning how to install your EV scope, how to work on the focus and collimation, and how to use the observation and the explore settings, it's time that we move on to the very next hot topic, your contribution to space discoveries. As I said, this is a new series made with three videos about the science tab in the Unistella app. In each video, we'll talk about one category. Today, we'll start with the first category. Let's do it. So science, at last we talk about this topic. It's really one of my favorites. We know that a lot of users really like to participate in astronomical events. We've had many people who've sent us their scientific data since the beginning. This is really great. So let's open the third tab on the app, science. Here you can see four active categories, asteroid occultations, exoplanets, transits, planetary defense, and cometary activity. There is also one category called transient event, and we'll talk about it in a future video. Before opening the first category, asteroid occultation, it might be a good idea to explain what it is exactly. An asteroid occultation is an astronomical event defined by the passage of an asteroid in front of a star. The star becomes partially or in some rare cases completely obscured. Now the question is, why do we want to watch an asteroid passing between us and a star. What's so interesting about this? Actually, a lot of things. As you may know, millions of asteroids exist in our solar system and most of them are completely unknown or poorly known. Yet these rocky objects hold key information about the birth of planets and even about how life appeared on Earth. The blinking of a star when occulted by an asteroid gives astronomers important data about its size, shape, composition and trajectory. EV scope users have participated in hundreds of occultation events. More than 50 were positive. This helped many times to discover the real shape of asteroids. Now I'm sure you're wondering how can I participate in these events? Well, let me show you. First, let's have a quick look at the asteroid occultation screen to see what it looks like. We can see here that we have five boxes to fill in. It starts with the target. Here, you will need to enter the asteroid coordinates. It's called the right ascent. We call it RA and the declination or DEC. Then you have the recording part with the exposure time, the gain and the duration. All right, now where do we find this information to do an occultation near your location? On the Unistellar website, of course. Go to our occultation predict page on unistellar.com. Click on citizen science, asteroids, then occultation predictions. Here you will see a list of events around the world that happen every night. You must find an event near your location. To find out if an occultation is passing through your home, simply zoom in by scrolling on the map. If you live between the two orange lines, you might be able to see the occultation. You can also travel to get closer to the central line. The closer you are to the red central line, the higher your chances will be to see the occultation. Before going any further, keep in mind that there are some steps to follow before doing an occultation. First, check the weather with clearoutside.com, for instance. If it's cloudy or windy, you won't see much. Also, be sure to clear the memory of your EV scope by uploading it. Be careful, it can take up to two hours depending on your internet connection. You might want to plan this ahead. Check your EV scope battery, check that the tripod is leveled, and check the focus and collimation. All these steps are explained in our different tutorial videos on our YouTube channel. Occultations are short-lived events which last only a few seconds. Therefore, it's of utmost importance to get prepared before, to not miss the event. Once everything is set, you'll need to enter the information in the boxes. You'll find it in the table with all the information about the asteroid. But wait, I have an idea. Let's open this web page directly from your smartphone. Select the occultation and you'll get the information. See the little smartphone icon? On right there, it's called a deep link. Simply touch it and it will automatically send the coordinates to the Unistellar app so that you don't have anything to do. Pretty handy, right? Now that you have all the boxes filled in, this is the two-part process. First, hit the go to button at least 10 minutes before the occultation time so that the EV scope points at the star to be occulted. To find the right time, check on our website. On the web page, you'll find the UTC time and the local time next to each other. When it's time, you can click on the launch button. Once the recording has started, you can switch back to the EV scope tab to try to see the occultation in real time. But keep in mind that this is really difficult to see. You may be able to see the star fading for a few
few seconds, but that's if the weather is perfect and if you have a really nice view. Also, please be sure not to activate the enhanced vision during recording, otherwise you'll delete all the data. All the science modes work only in live view. All right, the recording has succeeded. You've just registered an asteroid occultation. Now you'll be able to transfer your data. Let's go to the user tab and click on the upload data button. This will send the data to the Unistellar servers who will then transfer it to the SETI Institute. To make sure your contribution is properly processed, you also need to fill in a very short survey with your name and the EBScope serial number. You will find this survey in the description below and that's it, you've achieved your citizen science mission. Congratulations, Unistellar and the SETI Institute will analyze your data to check if the detection is positive. This would be a small step for you, but a giant leap for citizen science. Once your observation has been analyzed, the results are shared with other scientific organizations like Charles University, Lucky Star at the Observatoire de Paris, Eurostar, and IOTA to refine the orbit and the shape of the asteroids. The results will be published on our website too. Like Kevin and Moran, you may be featured on scientific articles to witness your discoveries. Don't forget to visit unistellar.com to get all the information about the different citizen science programs. Thanks very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. See you later and bye-bye from Unistella.